how to use security groups for security in Business Central using the Advanced Cloud Security app. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use security groups to control your advanced cloud security in Business Central. Security groups is a new thing. It's basically groups from Microsoft Entra that you can reuse inside Business Central to assign permissions. You can use it for standard Business Central permissions, and you can also use it use it with the Advanced Cloud Security app. Advanced Cloud Security app is a uh, is an app that will extend um, the security model of Business Central to include field level security, action level security, and data level security. Um, you can see more about it in the links below, but let me uh, let me show you how to use security groups. Here is my Business Central. I have installed uh, advanced cloud security and um, there are three phases when you use this app there are three phases phase one you define where you want security phase two you actually have ACS deploy an app that contains the security you have defined in step one and then step three you can assign security to users and there's three different ways you can do this you can assign security directly to users you can assign security to groups of users, and you can assign security as a piggyback to uh, permission set. So if a user get a specific permission set, they will also get uh, the security features that goes with it. So in this video, we're gonna focus on how to use security groups. And um, if I first go in here, it's empty. There are no groups in my system. Um, so I can open security groups in Business Central. So this is standard Business Central and I get another empty screen. But I can click new. And in this case, now it, it allows me to go out into Microsoft Entra and find a group. And we can see here that there's only one called test demo. So if I go to my Entra, so this is admin.microsoft.com. This is where you maintain what users you have in your tenant and so on. So this is outside Business Central. So this is could perhaps be your IC department. And uh, and a great way to use the, the whole thing with the security groups is that if your IC department assign groups based on your department or job function or whatever, uh, you can kind of piggyback to that and say, okay, if somebody is in this department, these are the permissions they need to have in Business Central. So if I create a new security security group in here, I give it a name, ACS. Uh, I click next and I create the group. Uh, I am done. So now I can uh, uh, I can open. No, oh, sorry, it's not this one. Ha! <laughs> it's this one. And I can add members uh, to the group. So I can add. Uh, let's see. I'll add myself. Okay. So now this group has one member. That is me. Then we can go back into Business Central. And now here we are still in the dialogue of kind of grabbing the, the user, the security group from Microsoft Intra and, and pull it into Business Central. So I hit the three dots and we can see that now ACS is available here. So I grab that one and I call it the same thing. We got ACS. And we can see here in the fact box that it has one member. That's me. Perfect. Now, if I go back to assign security to groups, and maybe we should start by I can see click see effects of security. So, so I can see what security from ACS has been applied to me. Uh, I select myself, and nothing has been applied to me in this case. So I close this up again. Go back into assign security to groups. We can see ACS is here. So let's select a feature and I'll select the feature called customer. Say that 
everybody who's a member of ACS in Microsoft Entra, meaning everybody who's a member of this one should get this security feature. I close, we go and see effective permissions, find myself again, and now there's stuff assigned to me. We can see that the, the customer, customer address is disabled, the city is read-only, balanced you are hidden, uh, statistic actions are disabled, and I have a domestic post customer posting group filter assigned to me. So now if I go to customers, then I, I, I get it's filtered, the balanced view fields are gone, the address is grayed out and CD is read only, um, and I cannot hit statistics. So that's how easy it is to, uh, to use security groups. So Microsoft Intra security groups to assign the extra level of security that you can get by using the Advanced Cloud Security app. You can try all this. Uh, if you haven't tried it, you can try all this in, in a sandbox. All, all our apps just works in, in sandboxes and you can try it for as long as you will and, and go nuts. Uh, and when you're ready to, uh, to use it in production, there are links below where you can, uh, you can buy the software. Thanks for watching.